so a couple of important things. I don't think the sidelines exam as it exists today is the be all and end all. Let me tell you that we're going to evolve this. In fact, at the end of the football season, we're going to convene all the doctors and analyze whether it was effective or not. And if it wasn't, how can we make it better? If it was, can we even make it better than that? So this is certainly an evolving field and it, it, it's, that's going to happen. Military feels the same way. They want to detect it earlier, treat it more aggressively, and return these soldiers either back to civilian life or back to battle healthier. So I think there's so much yet to do. Now, let's talk about what the NFL is doing to help understand this. Right now, there is testing going on with sensors in the helmet, sensors in the mouth, and sensors in the air. So there are three components. Let's talk about sensors. One of the things that the NFL is actively researching right now is how to better detect and understand concussions. So there are three sensor systems called accelerometers that can tell how much force has struck the skull. The first one is called the HIT system, which is a helmet sensor embedded in the helmets that then uh, send a signal to the sidelines and says how much impact. Those are tested against mouthpiece accelerometers. They're embedded in the mouthpiece that many uh, football players wear and can do the same thing. How much force has been used to strike this player? And then right now, the um, race car drivers use earpiece accelerometers. They put an earpiece in their ear and it detects how much force, how much acceleration the car is forcing upon the person driving the car. We're testing them against each other. We want to know in the NFL which of these sensors is most accurate to pick up the forces that are causing concussion. Number two, which forces are causing concussion? And so we're testing to see which one would be the best one to use in a football field and then pilot that. Is that going to happen this season? Are we going to have something to put in the helmets or in the mouthpieces or the ear? No. But the testing is going on independently by academics and engineers at independent laboratories, and I think we're going to be closer to the answer. Military, same thing. They're trying to come up with better helmets that can absorb the blast and not transfer it into the skull and brain. Military has a huge project being undertaken by MIT, by John Johnopoulos, Professor John Johnopoulos at MIT, who is one of the leading uh, thinkers on this issue of blast injuries. He's a physicist um, and trying to find new materials or a new construction of a helmet that can absorb uh, the energy. And when we had uh, a meeting of all the greatest minds in uh, helmet technology and physics and engineering and mathematics, uh, in, in New York last year, John Johnopoulos and the team from MIT, the team from Virginia Tech, all the leading thinkers on this subject and engineers that construct the things were there to, to ask the question, while helmets won't eliminate traumatic brain injury, can we make a better one to lessen the effects and maybe one that will eliminate some of them? So I think this is very exciting. People are thinking about this, putting all their energy into it. And there's a lot of moving pieces, a lot of research going on all the time on this subject.